Sea Star or Starfish strandings happen on low country beaches from time to time, leaving many who see the strandings concerned. I spoke with experts about why the strandings happen and what they mean. Thousands of starfish call the South Carolina coastline their home for many reasons, including the abundance of a favorite snack, oysters. They're actually able to pry open the oysters or whatever hard-shelled animal they're eating, and they actually inject their stomach into that animal. They inject their stomach, eject their stomach outside of their body and begin to digest food outside of their body. Starfish have long been known to have the ability to regrow limbs if one is lost, but did you know this? What's really cool about them too is if a part of the, of the arm comes off and it includes part of the central disc, which is in the middle of the sea star, they can actually become a whole new sea star separately. And even though there are enough oysters for a starfish to be fat and happy, dozens of starfish were washed up on the Isle of Palms beaches when I was there in January. Aaron Weeks, the media coordinator for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources Marine Division, says starfish can become stranded on low country beaches for several reasons. And they're not strong swimmers. So um, when there are storms offshore or high tides, they can get churned up in the water um, and they are at the mercy of where the tides take them. The sea stars can become more vulnerable than normal during strong weather events along the coastline. When we have periods of, of um, strong onshore winds and, and winter storms offshore, that'll churn the water up and bring them onshore and strand them. Despite thousands of starfish lost to strandings each year, Megan Gallopo, who is an educator at the South Carolina Aquarium, says millions of starfish eggs are created as well. So they have one reproductive season per year, um, so it might not seem like a lot, but in that one season, a female can release up to two million eggs. So there's a lot of opportunities for new baby sea stars to be born. So while many starfish die in the strandings each year, there's no sign of the friendly creatures disappearing from the Carolina shores anytime soon. Weeks says even though the strandings can be concerning for those who see them on low country beaches, they are not uncommon. In downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count On 2.